<laughs> What's the best practice of migrating CC BPM to NetViva BPM? Uh, I would say, yeah, we, I guess we, we talked a little about this also on, on last uh, episode. So I, I think one of the, the key questions in this is about starting over and at least figure out is is this ccbpm even relevant anymore if it, it if it's just used for collecting messages you may be able to just uh, get rid of it and that may be the the best uh, option you have um, so it, and and map it to a, a normal pattern uh, there's no real um, let let's uh, or no no solutions to do an automated migration that can just migrate everything away and and do it smoothly uh, so it's always just a lot of work that you'd have to to do in it um, but i guess it's so i guess in theory you should be able to um, to automate this and say hey we just want to get all the data coming um, or convert the, the, the because I guess the, the the CC BPM is less complex than what you can do in NetViva BPM so in theory you should be able to create a, a job that would just convert these but I think in practice this would not make sense so this is more a, a job that you would have to do yourself and figure out how do we map uh, these things and what's going on uh, in in this process so uh, no uh, no automation in in that part um, and then when you are in the process I would uh, recommend that you are doing testing of this just send the message and verify that it's being processed the same way as it it always have and yeah I definitely when so if you are not new to BPM the the way I normally would would approach this is I, so if you create a full the full process and something fails it, it, it's a little challenging so what I would normally do is I would just start with one message and start processing it and then once I got that message uh, working I would go for for the next uh, so my my first ppm process here I would just create a I think actually I do have one no I just go went away from this um, but but my first process would simply be the, the the simplest one I could just about receiving a message and maybe sending a message that doesn't really make sense but the reason you want to do this is there's a lot of uh, challenges and and it can be difficult seeing uh, what you on. so I would do a process like this just to start with and see I can receive my message I can see the process is being called maybe I'll just do a simple mapping in here just to verify that we can actually put some content into it um, and then you just do iterations and adding more and more of, of the functionalities that you have in it uh, but but definitely try to uh, start from well maybe from 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 scratch and put in all the different uh, yeah the steps that that you have so it's quite an iterative process um, and there's no real we'll just do this in in a few minutes um, obviously depending on the process but uh, yeah and try to simplify the logic because there is a lot of uh, logic also that can be simplified and if uh, if you're understanding what's being done and why it's being done then it may simplify things uh, quite a bit <laughs>